Hey everyone, Brypone here, back with a red team tip for the week of March 1st. So today we're going to be looking at a late stage post compromise persistence technique called diamond ticket. So many of you have probably heard of silver and golden ticket attacks, right? Golden ticket attacks are meant to have a persistence for a very long period of time, something like 10 years. But there have been, you know, numerous methods to start to fingerprint out and determine when a golden ticket attack happens, right? By default, the 10 year lifetime on the ticket in Mimikatz tends to give it away. Uh, sometimes the lack of the original request, so the AS rep, AS rec being missing can cause detection. So diamond ticket does what a golden ticket does, but it just goes and gets a ticket granting ticket, decrypts that, puts in the information it wants, re-encrypts it, and then uses it. So it's a really interesting new style ticket attack. So like I said, this has to be a post-compromise, post-deep compromise persistence technique, which means you need to have already compromised a domain admin. And then once you've compromised that domain admin, you can use something like Mimikatz to get the hash of the KRB TGT account. So let's demo that. First, I have my workstation that I have compromised a domain administrator. And my domain administrator is Hunter, HackLab Hunter. He is a domain admin. So I can now run my highly obfuscated version of Mimikatz that I call Mini Dogs, and it won't be detected by AV because it's coming through a loader and there's a lot of stuff that I've done to you know, hide this from AV. Defender is enabled on this host. But what we want to do is we want to do an LSA dump command and we will do LSA dump DC sync just to make sure I get this right and you guys don't watch me type a bunch of things that are wrong, I'll paste this in. But to start, whenever you want to do something with Mimikatz that's high privilege, you need to do privilege privilege, colon, colon, debug. So now we have uh, privilege escalation, right? So this is RTL adjust privilege. Now, what we'll do, we will paste in our LSA dump DC sync command. And so when you want to do DC sync, you do LSA dump colon, colon, DC sync, your domain, and then the user that you want the hashes for. If you don't specify the user that you want the hashes for, it's going to give you everyone. Now, in this case, we only need the Caribbean TGT account. So we're going to take and we're going to get the hash of the Caribbean TGT account. And notice right here, we have the AES 256 hash of the Caribbean TGT account. This is what we need to continue our diamond ticket attack. So we copy this out. We'll put this over here in a notepad and we should be good to go. So now if we move to a host with low privilege, now I'm Clint, right? Clint is a low privilege user. Maybe he's an administrator on his workstation, but he is not a domain admin. So we're gonna make him a domain admin level user. I can promote him with this golden ticket. I can just take this ticket that I'm going to create and I can load it into memory and then I can get permissions on any system in the environment including jumping across trusts in some cases. So let's do this. Now on this desktop, we're going to use my version of Rubius. And this is a obfuscated version of Ru Rubius called Hagrid. If you're interested in how to create one of these and get it by AV, check out my Defeating Windows Defender video. That's where I created this version of Hagrid. I've been using it ever since with just a few little tweaks since that video, it still gets by Windows Defender. So we'll take hagrid.exe here. And as you can see, it is Rubius. Let me scroll back up and you'll see the logo. There it is, it's Rubius. It looks kind of weird because I've had to obfuscate it, pushed off some of the ASCII. Uh, but regardless, it is Rubius. So just to prove that this is not, this user's not a domain admin, we'll do some net commands. So we'll do net user, Clint dot Barton and we'll do domain. And you can see he is in domain users only. 
is not a domain admin. And then we can do net local group. We'll do net local group administrators, administrators. And we can see, okay, he is a local admin. So we have local admin proof, but we don't have domain admin proof. And if I don't have domain admin proof, I should not be able to SMB over to the C dollar sign of my domain controller, right? I shouldn't be able to get into that share. So let's verify I cannot do that. So we'll go dir slash slash 2016-lab-dc.hacklab.com backslash C dollar. Access is denied. Okay. Well, I don't like being denied. So let's make it to where I'm not denied. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our Hagrid and we're going to do a diamond ticket. Now to do the diamond ticket, you have to create a specific local ticket that you will use in the second step. The second step is loading it into memory and using it. So we'll do hagrid.exe, which this is just Rubius. In your environment, use rubius.exe, the word diamond, the curb key. So this is the key that we got from the other host. So if we go back over here, notice this matches this. Then you're going to do the user, the user that you want this assigned to. So the user in this case is clint.barton. We need that user's password. We want our encryption type to be AES. So if you use RC4, you probably will get caught now. Uh, Microsoft has changed a lot of the way they do the, this functionality to RC4 not being used at all. So if you use RC4, you're going to stick out. So don't use RC4 here. Make sure you're using the encryption type of AES. Then you want to do your domain, hacklab.com. The domain controller you want to get this TGT from. The ticket user. And then we're going to do pass the ticket, PTT, and no wrap. So here we go. And there we go. So we now have a ticket. Notice we have a whole ticket here. This is our imported ticket, right? So we should be able to DIR into our hack lab now. Let's see if we can. Access still denied. So sometimes we actually have to do an ask TGS after this. So we'll do that real quick. We'll do Hagrid. And then we'll do ask TGS. And then we're going to do ticket like this, colon. We're going to paste all of this info from the ticket here. And then we'll do, we're going to do a SIFS connection here. And that should be just a simple, uh, let me make sure that I'm doing this right because I didn't plan on having to do this. Uh, it is SIFS service. That's what I was looking for. Slash service, colon SIFS. And then we're going to give it a slash. And then we're going to give the domain controller name. So. 2016-lab-dc.hacklab.com. And then we'll give it pass the ticket, PTT, and no wrap. Now, this is also a fully patched domain controller. So it's a fully patched 2016 domain controller with all of the latest patches for the changes that they made in Kerberos. So we'll go, we'll go ahead and we'll run this. And now it says successfully imported. Ticket successfully imported. Here's the ticket we imported, and now notice we have this information here, service name, SIFS, Hack Lab, Clint Barton, so on and so forth. So now we can DIR into the C dollar share of the domain controller. That is a diamond ticket. So it's pretty neat. It's like a golden ticket, just a little different. It does the request process. It does the return process. It decrypts what is already in that key, and then it puts the information in and re-encrypts it, right? Now you can use this for all sorts of different services and you can basically make any account in the environment that is joined to the domain, a domain admin or higher privilege. 
So if you have a specific account you need to take over, you can do that with this. And that's it. Thanks again for watching and hack the planet to defend better.